Titanfall. Oh yeah, baby. We got some more information. Let's run through what that was, shall we? Yes. What is up, YouTube? It's Ubu, the tech guru, coming straight at ya. How is everybody doing today? I'm doing fan tiddly -astic. And today I'm bringing you some more Titanfall information. Hopefully you guys have seen my previous videos. I brought, um, I've been, I've showcased so far two of the Titans that will be in the game. Um, you, sh you can check those out on my channel. There should be annotations on the screen now to either of those uh, Titans, the Ogre Titan or the Atlas Titan. I'm still gonna be putting up the Strider Titan, that video I have to make yet, but um, today we got some information from a representative uh, of Respawn Entertainment. Those are the developers of Titanfall. And, you know, he's just, he, he put on the NeoGAF uh, forums that, um, you know, there's been a lot of outrage as to the player count that was recently the information that was released for the total amount of players um, for Titanfall. And if you haven't heard by now, the player count is going to be 6v6. And you're probably wondering, what? There's only 6v6? Well, Battlefield has 64 players, 32v32. Well, according to all of Respawn's testing, you know, they found to have 6v6 uh, human players to be, you know, the most fun, the the best, um, you know, how it turned out for the way that the maps are designed, for the gameplay mechanics, you know, and the entire experience, just all around, 6v6 is what makes sense. Um, you know, and something that you guys can't forget is that each player has a Titan. So there's going to be, you know, 12 total human players on the map, 12 total Titans on the map, that you can either uh, leave the Titan go in follow mode or guard mode. And then you're also going to have additional AI on the map. And I'm not quite sure what the additional AI is going to do, but some of the comments that have been made so far uh, by this, this person from the representative from Respawn Entertainment, he goes by DK05. Um, you know, he stated that he wants to make it clear that the AI are not just normal bots. You know, that's not what they are in Titanfall. The AI in Titanfall are not replacements for human players. Um, you know, it's the player count for 6v6 is not because of the AI. The AI play their own role in the game and are a different class of character in the game. So, you know, so think about it. There's going to be 12, you know, 12 players, human players, 12 titans and then you know so that's 24 24 things on the map already and now you have to also account for however many ai there's going to be you know so that's it's going to be interesting you know there's been a lot of uproar on twitter about the 6v6 max player um you know some of the people complaining about uh about it on twitter one person is uh I actually follow him on twitter his uh xx macgyver xx he says, Titanfall is 6v6? Ouch. I was hoping for a much higher number than that. Please tell me the AI fill in that gap a lot. And he and then uh, Vince Zampella, uh, representative of Respawn, says, A 6v6 game can be crazy experience, very fun. Um, he went on to explain that the number wasn't decided upon arbitrarily, but resulted in the best experience for the title. They even go on as far as to say... Um, you know, if you're looking for higher player count, then maybe this isn't the game for you. <laughs> so they're flat out saying, hey, you don't like our, you know, what we've decided on? Go play Battlefield 4 where there's 64 players if you want. But, you know, our game, Titanfall, is going to be 6v6, and that's just the way it is. You gotta keep that in mind that these people are playing the game day in and day out. They know what, you know, the most fun type of experience is going to be. 12 players, including the AI, plus each Titan, you know, who knows how big the maps are going to be. We have to remember that, you know, uh, Respawn Entertainment 
were the original uh, were the original Infinity Ward people, I believe. They, you know, they came up with the first uh, Modern Warfare series, and uh, there was a huge issue there at Infinity Ward, so they were let go, and they came, they went and created Respawn Entertainment. Um, some other news that I wanted to point out that was important, I felt, was that the Xbox 360 version for Titanfall isn't being developed by Respawn Entertainment. It's being developed by someone else, and um, we don't even know who that is yet. They haven't released that information. They don't want to release that information, I'm guessing, because they don't want the spotlight on these other developers that are doing the 360 version. They want the spotlight on them. They want it on Respawn Entertainment, you know? So uh, it'll be interesting to see how the Xbox 360 version stacks up against the Xbox One and the PC version. You know, how much, uh, you know, less graphic intense it'll be, less shaders, you know, less physics in the game and, and things of that nature. So, um, that's just some of the information that's been released lately regarding Titanfall. Um, you know, I wish I had more information regarding the, the amount of AI, you know, uh, in the game. I mean, we still don't know about game types. We don't know, if, you know, if there's TDM, if there's domination style game types. You know, or if, like in Crisis 3, you have a um, crash site where you hold down a particular objective in a, spe a specific location on the map, and then uh, after a certain amount of time, you know, the, the location changes. So we don't know uh, a lot about Titanfall yet. So all these people that are, you know, armchair game designing right now, just freaking calm your tits, man. <laughs> Wait until the game comes out to really make a, you know, an informed decision. So hopefully you guys found this information beneficial. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you're interested in more Titanfall uh, information. I'll definitely be bringing it to my channel. Um, you know, leave me a rating. Let me know what you thought of the video. And that's about all I got for you today, guys. Until next time, I'll smell you when I smell you. Ubu out.